Sim greetings. Big, I smashed that like button the second stream starts. Oh, thank you, bud. Why is my VTube doing weird stuff? Okay, hold on. We're going to have to throw this on the other screen. All right. That way you don't get to see the man behind the curtain. Hello, I got no notification. That's... That's pretty typical, honestly. See, uh, I actually don't want people to find my stream. I want, uh, eventually for there to be, like, a scavenger hunt where you have to solve a mystery and also escape a room and, uh, find a lot of objects in order to actually, like, find my stream. That's, that is, uh, my goal. To make my stream as difficult to discover as possible. In pursuit of an evil army. I don't want people to watch me. Uh, are you referring to the chat on the screen? I want no vids. That's true. Hold on, I gotta take a sip of my coffee. Did y'all enjoy my content? I'm not downloading it and, and displaying it on stream again. It's not worth it. This content is not not as good as last week's content, I'll be honest. Hold on a second. Hmm. Yep, that's, that's Tim Horton's coffee, all right. Garbage. Speaking of scavenging, <laughs> I saved a uh, man's life in Neo Scavenger and he gave me two jelly beans. Oh, don't spend them all in one place. I'm a tan. Don't, don't you, don't you squander them beans. You're going to want to plant them, you see, so you can grow a jelly tree. Hello, Neville. Big wants his stream so hard to find He's going to remove it from YouTube entirely. I can do that. See, I would actually, I would love to ironically shut the stream down right now. But last time I shut the stream down prematurely and then started it up again, I lost chat for about an hour, if you recall. Them was the dark times. Still hasn't used the schedule feature. Oh my god, you're right. I forgot about that. I have to look into that. Thank you for reminding me, uh, Neville. Neville, uh, you gotta... My brain is kind of like... It's like a walled garden with a very small shrub inside. And, um, you know, you can tend the garden, but it, it requires uh, passage uh, through several gates. And through each gate, um, there is a, 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 a some kind of bouncer who's like, Are you sure? Do you, you want in? Uh, are you on the list? And so every time a little bit of information has to get into my brain, you got to like check, you got to go, go through each new gate and then eventually it gets in there. It's bad. It's a bad system. Hold on. The furry creature in my lap is demanding that I pet his face. I know that's going to sound weird for some people. Like, <laughs> like that's going to sound like a joke. Oh, he pets his face. Haha. <laughs> No, my, my cat actually is not a huge fan of being pet on the head. He likes pets on the face. I'm not kidding. I have to, I guess I'll have to take a picture of that at some point. The hour of darkness. We, we remember the dark day, the silent, the silence of Chet. The darkness of the, the dark pimple days. Oh my. Uh, we were there watching Big have a breakdown. It wasn't even a, it wasn't just a, it wasn't even a breakdown. It was just like a, a sad. I was just having a sad. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's get the Hand of Gilgamesh, um, out of the way. Not that I'm not enjoying this game, but I, you know, and I am. But let's get it out of the way, because we got some cool stuff going on today. I thought the joke was about furry creature on your lap. The, no. No. What? Oh. Oh, I get it. Sigh. Hey, my button's not working again. Swear to God. Swear to God. Hey, is my- is my V2 broken again? I'm- I'm about to yeet this thing out the window, I swear to God. I need a stream deck, guys. I'm not kidding. I like- I hate that I am even saying that, but and because I hate Elgato, I really do. I truly hate Elgato. But I have this little macro pad. The macro pad has served me well, but it's not serving me well right now anymore. It's no longer serving its purpose well. It's it's 
it's a piece of junk and it doesn't seem to work properly. There we go. Why, why is that not working? Do I not have, oh, there we go. Why is it being so weird? Okay, I, I gotta get myself a stream deck. Okay, new milestone on the coffee, confirmed. I need a, I need 150 bucks to get to get an Elgato stream deck. Pogface is here. Confirmed. Confirmed a Pogface. It's not Pogface anymore. It's Fishface. Kiss the fish. Kiss. Num num. Kiss the fish. Big yeet. Do we have puppet? Why are you being weird? Oh my god! Stupid macro pad isn't working. I hate it. Hate this thing. Why why even bother? You know what? I should just make my numpad my thing. Except then I I do actually play like games on it. Okay, are you working now? Are you, are you, are you being not... No, you're not working. Confirmed, we have we have no Pogface. That was the last time you'll ever see Pogface. My god. Why, why are you being so stupid? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna flip the thing around. Sometimes that helps. Okay, now. You're gonna behave yourself. Yes. Hog! Why don't I have Puppet? Why don't I have Puppet? Oh, it's because I didn't set the hockey. There we go. Puppet is... Pu confirmed Puppet. Alright, I'm gonna have to save this again. Hold on a second. Listen, apparently every day I have to fritz with a stupid VTube. One day I'm just gonna like... Oh, that's actually not a bad idea. I should take pictures of myself doing different reactions and then I can make myself a VTube. Meta. Bimple, if you get rid of Pogface, I'm unsubbing. It's not me that's getting rid of Pogface, it's the stupid macro pad. If you want me to fix the situation, then I need I need Elgato Stream Deck. Resting f will fully heal your heroes, but nearby enemies will respawn, yes. Oh, we can buy some new cards. Let's sell some stuff maybe first. Uh, no. Okay, we don't want to sell any of that. We want to buy something. Um, Hydro Gloves. What, why is Guardian crossed out? If I click the left button, will it just buy it? No. Okay, cool. I want to view it. Before applying weakness... Wait, what? Water Jet. Sometimes the best way to deal with an obstacle is to go right through it. Uh, oh, is, is Hydro Gloves a card? It look... I don't know what's going on. Barrier Field. I, I don't understand this. No Pog Face equals negative seven dollars. No! Small pizza, please! <laughs> Time to snooze for an hour. Wow. We're just in here being toxic for no reason, huh? Don't be toxic. Um, I need to... Oh, craft cards. There we go. So, uh, someone was telling me that Searing Lash is very good. Deals fire to one foe. What I like about it is that it generates steam. So, I, I can appreciate that. But, unfortunately, I don't have the crafting materials to make it. I need five scroll fragments. Let's see if, can I buy the scroll fragments? I don't think I can. So I cannot make it. Can make some car, no we can't, Never mind. Tinker, what's this? Grants all allies a random helpful effect and all foes a random harmful effect. That sounds really good actually. Requires 10 scrap, trashium though. We're really getting up there with some of these costs. Big is discovering the new weapons with new finishing moves. Oh, are you explaining this to me? Equipping new weapons can change your character's finishing moves. Oh! 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 Um... Well, that's that's actually really good because, um... Frog... Frog Lad... 
Gallium, whatever his name is, I don't know. Uh, he has a really bad finishing move, right? Doesn't it just like heal everyone for seven health? That's not very good, right? Every good meal need acidity. I mean, yeah, but like, here's here's the thing, Imatan, is like, there's good acidity and bad acidity, right? Like, I, I could put in some store-bought lemon juice, but that stuff is kind of garbage, right? It's not it's not gonna be as good as buying fresh lemons. <laughs> He's like, what are you saying? Well, I mean, if you think you have room to complain, just remember, every good meal has some acidity. <laughs> And Searing Lash is very good. Copernica is insanely OP. Her basic attacks can get as powerful as steam-powered moves. You can see what comments get blocked via the in-game chat. That's really handy. Can I? My cat is really being demanding right now. Alright, I'm gonna buy Hydro Gloves because I'm not a huge fan of Frog Lad's basic move. Actually, how much money do I have? I can buy all of these things. The thing is, do I want them? Do I want all of them? Are they all like straight up upgrades? Let's let's find out. Huh? <laughs> I'm saying I'm saying your store bought lemon juice, I'm at 10. That's what I was saying. <laughs> um uh, your store bought lemon juice. Kevbo is extra cheese. Neville Wong is small pizza. And uh, what to what what is what is Dimathorn? Guys, help me out. What's Dimathorn? Was he has extra pepperoni? He's extra pepperoni, I think. Oh, like when it appears in YouTube chat, but not in stream, then it's shadow blocked. Oh, interesting. Hamburger. Don't yo, don't be spamming hamburger to test your theory. Okay, we're gonna see uh, what um, what's what's her face's name, uh, what their new move is, lacerate. I forgot that we sped up the animation. That's really good. So, what does lacerate do? Ba -ba. We're gonna find out um, Copernica's new move as well. Some squad reminder: swap from top chat to live chat to see all comments. It was the footlong sandwich, and I was seven entire dollars worth of extra cheese. <laughs> Oh wow, that is really nice. What is Harden? Sh oh, oh, Thunder Wave was her her finishing move. Nice. So now we can see uh, we get to see his new move as well. Nice. This is this is excellent. We're getting to see everyone's new move. So it's Water Jet. Oh, I see. So it's a uh, it, it does water or ice damage technically, and they are weak to water damage. Uh, there, this guy's like about to explode, right? This is like not good. He's gonna do a bunch of damage to us. Do 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 do. Well, I may as well try and kill this guy because um, he's also like jonesing to explode. So, uh, we may as well get rid of one of these. That's a lot of damage I just took. Anyway, I'm not really serious about snoozing and all that stuff. Hanging with you all is really nice. Well, there's- there- that's- that's pretty sweet. We got the sweet and the salty. Nice. That's- that's even better. Ugh! Should I go back and heal? I feel like I did not do very well. Wait, I always forget to do focus first. Oh, I wish I had more steam. Hey, speaking of steam, lads, <laughs> I guess this is gonna this is gonna come across as really. I'm like honestly, um, 
like debating even talking about this because it's gonna it's gonna be a weird dissonance um i bought a steam deck i've actually been i've been in the books to get a steam deck for a very long time like i i got my reserve but i was q2 unfortunately i'll talk about that a little bit um the, my experience trying to get a reserve for the Steam Deck was not uh, not good, to be honest. I like uh, I like Valve and I like Steam, but uh, that, it was kind of a shit show. Sweet salty and Subway sandwich. Uh, real talk. What's everyone's? What's what's your favorite uh, Subway sandwich combo? I'll tell you mine. Okay, so this isn't gonna work, right? No, it's not gonna work. These guys are gonna like these guys are guaranteed to always get one hit off. Which is not great. Are they resistant to fire, I wonder? Got some nasty virus or something now, I'm fine. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm a ten, that really sucks. You gotta kill the spiders fast or else stun flinch them to stop their build up. Oh, do I have a stun though? I don't think I have a stun. This this might take him out, but I don't I don't think so. I need better attacks. Oh, okay. We're gonna we gotta head back. This is not gonna work. Maybe I need to do some grinding. Sweet salty, you gotta kill the spiders fast. Have you recovered from last week? Um, okay, I'm gonna recover at the thing. And actually, why don't we go up? Because I didn't go up. Oh my god! Big old lad here. Subways haven't eaten them in over 10 years, and I always ask the employee to put whatever they felt was best on it. Whenever I uh, whenever I see her hitting someone with a book, I think of the the this like anyone any berserk fans in chat. Um, there's the, there's the cleric lad who's got the very square face, and uh, and he he kills someone by like smacking them with the spine of a book, and it's it's pretty it's pretty berserk if you if you know what I mean. It's pretty berserk. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna get a combo off, actually. I didn't realize that. A different subs, but I get only two sauces on my sub, Chipotle and Garlic Ranch. I haven't tried that. That sounds like a good combo, actually. Um, I tend to get... I also haven't gotten Subway in a long time. But, um... I tend to get like uh, something pretty like vegetarian, but I'll get like you know the tomatoes, uh, lettuce, onions, pickles, and uh, oh, hot peppers. I like pickles and hot peppers together. To me, is a really really good combo. I like that combo a lot. This guy was a lot easier than he looked actually. Nice. Is the steak and cheese, pepper jack cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, spinach, jalapenos, and creamy sriracha. God, it sriracha is such a bizarre anomaly to me because it like it became so absurdly popular overnight. I, I like it a lot, just to be clear. And now, do you, you, do you guys realize we're in a sriracha shortage? It's going to be hard to get Sriracha for like the next year or so. I'm not sure why, but it, it seems that uh, the this the ingredients required to make it are in short supply. They just mess the order and it always arrives cold and bad tasting. In my city, you, sh you liter lit literally should not buy Subway through apps. The quality is 10 times worse than if you go to the real place. 
Um, okay, I mean, I've got a, I've got a story for you, I suppose. I, so I do, here's, here's my thing. I don't like Tim Horton's coffee on the most part. Like it's, it's tolerable at best. I kind of make it work for me. If anyone doesn't know what Tim Hortons coffee is, Tim Hortons is a very, very popular Canadian chain. And I don't know why they're co they're popular. It's hot garbage. They don't sell a single thing. Well, I guess they sell, they sell like two things that are actually worthwhile, in my opinion. So this is good. We got our super soaker here. That's going to be great. Um, actually, we, maybe we should throw in some healing as well. How about I'll get rid of Gigaton Punch and put in Mend instead. Actually, let's get rid of one Steam Punch and put in another Mend. Just for now. Um, so I tend to I tend to go to I'll, like I'll buy Tim Hortons as a as a guilty pleasure of like okay you know it's the weekend I don't feel like making coffee and I'll I'll buy Tim Hortons I don't like it but I'll buy it. Um, like, it, like, I don't like it, but I do like it. I don't know how to explain that. It's like, um, it's a compulsion, you know? It's like, it's like, I, I, uh, you know it's bad for you, but you do it anyway, kind of thing. Um, we gotta deal with these guys first, don't we? And, um, so, I use the Tim Hortons app. The Tim Hortons app is... One of the most manipulative things I've ever experienced. It's like the worst gotcha game of all time. Um, it, it does It's not literally a gotcha, but it is like stupidly manipulative. It it like says, oh, you could you could get this thing if you get you know like we'll give you two dollars off if you buy like ten dollars worth of stuff, and uh, you know like this kind of stuff. And it, the, the, lately, it's like they've been on this points business, so you like. Oh, if you get 70 points, you'll get a free coffee. And if you, every time you make an order on the app, you'll get 10 points. And if you, and it's like, like absurdly compli complicated, like who can figure out how best to optimize this system? It's, it's a mess. Um, truly. Uh, what does, what does this do? Lowers all foe strength. Okay. Well, we'll do that. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't like the app, but I use it. And, um, specifically the Tim Hortons near my house has this habit, this bizarre habit of getting my order wrong basically every time. Two dollars if you spend twenty dollars. Um, they get, they get my order wrong, like, every time. It's, it's, like, seriously ridiculous how often they get my order wrong. Um... And like, yeah, occasionally I get kind of frustrated. It's like, my dude, I order online so that this is easier on both of us. I don't want to go inside the store, right? Like, I'm still trying to uh, take the the virus seriously. You know, the virus. Um, I'm still trying to take it semi seriously, and it's difficult to do that when like oh you know they they didn't get my order are you sure you p and they'll like they'll shift the blame to you basically like oh are you sure you ordered from this place i'm like i show them the phone is like yeah i am sure I, I i ordered from this place it's like well what did you order and i'll tell them my order again and then they like okay well i gotta go get some i gotta go get someone else because this is a, clearly a two-man operation and uh, and then they'll go and get someone else, and then they'll ask my order again, and and it's like, oh my god, dude, just like, just make it, just make the coffee, just make the bad coffee I don't even like, please. Is that is that asking a lot? Um, I forgot to rotate. We got to rotate cards. There we go. That's what I want to see. So we, let's mend some people. And then let's kill this guy. Tim Horton's app stream when? I don't know how to do that safely. Are we eight bucks now? What? You, you're, uh, 
Oh no, he didn't die. Oh my god. These guys are really annoying. I can't kill them in time, so they get their attack off every time. I'm also not sure I like some of these new um, finishers. Like, what is Lacerate doing? Is it poison? Or is it, like, bleed? Is that what's happening here? I'm not sure what's what's happening. I haven't really been paying attention. Um, anyway, Tim Hortons is bad. And the Tim Hortons near my house is also bad. Oh my god. <laughs> I want to find it. Find what? Big Witch was the game on two Canada money. Um, why? I, I tweeted about that because I think that that's kind of super manipulative and I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, doesn't isn't following my Twitter and no, no pressure, but like uh, I tweeted about this game that was like 90% on sale down from $29 to $2. And I didn't show the game off because I don't really want to dunk on a game even if it is doing something I'm not a huge fan of, unless it's a big game, I suppose. And then, you know, uh, all, uh, everything's, you know, fair game. But uh, it's just this little tiny indie game. Like, it doesn't... It, it very clearly is not a $29 game. They can't convince me. Um, and if it is $29, it's certainly... Like, that's a ripoff as well. Um, <laughs> and they so they've, like, raised the price of their game in order to, like, put it on an absurd sale... To, to make people want to buy it. And I just kind of think that's lame. Don't do that. That's not cool. It's kind of preying on, like, like that's just as bad as when, when uh, Blizzard sells their, or th does their gotcha game, as far as I'm concerned. That's just as bad as, like, oh, how tricking someone into spending thousands of dollars. I mean, okay, no, it's not as bad because someone's going to spend $2 instead of 5000 Okay, fair enough. Objectively, it's not as bad. But it's the same principle. It's the same mentality. I want to find to see if I like the game. I don't think the game is looks very good, if I'm being honest. Save 800%, you would be losing money, not buying. That's, that's the uh, idea. Hey, Prime Games, how are you doing? I'm here for the coffee. All right, hold on. Actually, I have a special, does this still work? Oh my God. That button opens edge. Nobody wants that. O OBS has crashed. Oh. Hello? <laughs> Chat is disabled for this live stream. Oh goody. This is very good. Hold on a second. There we go. Uh, um, Chad is not dead. This is not. This is not Dark Day Part Two. So apparently, there's a button on my macro pad, which is the only button that worked. By the way, like I've been having problems with every other button, but that one worked that opens up edge which is step one nobody wants that ever nobody ever wants microsoft edge to open and then and then crashes obs <laughs> i just have a hot key that ruins everything <laughs> um oh I, I am live right i wish he'll come back soon neville don't don't you clown me right now i swear to god don't you punk me I'll ban you. I'll ban you and your your Subway sandwich. I was promised coffee. Uh oh. Wait a minute. All right. Someone. Someone. Uh. What. What. Um. Which character am I hovering over right now? Big died. What, what character am I hovering over? I need to confirm that I am live. Galio. Okay, thank you, Prime Games. The, the 
I can confirm that one person in chat is not trolling me. Three people. Three people. Okay, thank you. God. That was, like, genuinely scary. Not cool. Not cool. Already having tech problems. Don't, don't want to be uh, convinced that my tech problems are worse than they are. Okay, where was I? I am. I was like three layers deep in a conversation here. Um, Subway sandwich, Tim Hortons coffee. Uh, I got a Steam Deck. That was like my big news. I I I've, I was in Q2 of the Steam Deck, and um, do we do we buy some new cards? Are they still in our deck? Yes, they are. Do I want to swap things up a bit? Because I'm not. I think. Can we get another super? Do we have two super soakers? Yeah, we do. Okay. I think that this is fine. Um, maybe we should make Galio a healer. Just, like, get rid of his steam punches for now, because... Actually, let's get rid of the shield up, and then we'll put in Miracle Worker. Because, like, right now we're fighting these really annoying bombs, and it's proving to be a problem. Um... So, yeah, I, I might, might be able to stream, um, like games on a steam deck i don't think that'll really make any difference at all but it, it's kind of cool okay none of this is very good uh, i guess we could do uh, a super soaker try and get rid of one of these guys chat is super delayed again is it? What is going on today? Why did it reset this? That's just weird. Alright. How's that? Is that okay? There's like a, a small chance you'll we'll miss something occasionally, but for the most part we get chat. Big wanna put my little arms on Steam page. Of that game, give me the name. <laughs> give me the name. <laughs> Where's Rachel? Um, I don't. I'm gonna be honest, uh, RGB. I don't remember. <laughs> Straight up, and I'm not even saying that. If I if I could remember, I would tell you. Because you insist, but like I don't remember what the name of the game was. Actually, I guess we'll do this. I I don't rem I don't remember the name. Can't do it. Sorry, I can't I can't give you the name. I wish I could. Actually, I don't wish I could. I don't know like why we're even still going on about this. <laughs> okay, so coffee content as promised. That's all I wanted to do. I had a I had a PNG, uh, like a VTube set up to drink the coffee, which I've never used. And then I, I pressed what I thought was the button to, to get the, the coffee PNG tube. And, uh, and then everything crashed. <laughs> everything died. Please die. Oh my God. These guys are really annoying. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about this, to be honest. Like, I pretty much threw everything I could at that one enemy, and they still got to do their attack before I died. Before they, they, before they died, before I killed them. So are we here just for the giveaway? Yeah, there's a giveaway today. Thank you for reminding me. Meant to meant to say that. Hey everyone, there's a, there's a giveaway today. Don't know if you knew, but uh, there's actually a giveaway today. I'm pretty excited about it. It was a very happy accident. think this works 
Oh yeah, that, that worked really well, actually. Also, what giveaway? Um, so I'm going to be featuring a game for the middle segment. I've actually already played it on stream before, and I'm going to, of course, forget the name of the game because there's like a million games that come out. Temp Zero. I played it actually during the dark hour uh, a couple streams ago. And uh, it's a really good little little roguelite. Um, I like it a lot. It's got some really nice music, and uh, I think I think you will all like it. And I've got some extra codes to give away. It's a happy accident because um, I actually I bought the game. I meant to cover it last week, and I forgot um, just straight up because I'm garbage at my job. And. Um, But, you know, I bought it, and the dev contacted me. He's like, oh, yeah, sorry it took me so long to get back to you. Here's some extra codes to, like, give away. And I'm like, oh, you got hit by that fraud email, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, that wasn't me. Um, but thank you very much. And, uh, can you know, I'll, I'll give these out during the, the stream. So I didn't contact them um, because I already bought the game. But... Um, that fraud email is still a thing, and it's still, uh, you know, a problem. But sometimes, I don't know how to put it, but sometimes good things come from it. I hate to even, like, like vaguely suggest that it's a good thing. It's, it's not. I hate it, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, let's do this. Because I think that I might... Oh, cleave isn't... I'm not going to have enough for cleave. All oh, right. Because that doesn't generate uh, any energy. Okay. So instead, we're going to do this. Looks like Slay the Spire, but with the theme of Dark Souls. Um, this is in the Steam World uh, universe. So if you watched any of my Steam World Heist series, this is the same universe, but in the past. I assume in the past? It might be in the future. Okay, so he's gonna die on, or uh, explode on the next turn. That's a real problem. Um, so I'd love to do this, but actually, yeah, we could get away with this. Hold on, we could, we could do this. No, never mind. we can't. We can't, I was hoping that I could do uh, cleave. So we can't do that. You know what, let's uh, try and get Men would be okay. I was gonna say, yeah, let's try and get a third uh, one of these uh, of one of Copernicus moves off. That should kill him because he's weak to water. Yes. No. God. <laughs> oh, okay, we still get to kill him. Nice. Thank God. Big attack the spider. I I I, I am. I am attacking the spider. Okay, can we get a third? Yes. Except I can't pull it off, can I? Um, alright. I'm gonna mend Copernica. And then we're gonna do an attack. He said something about Black Hours of Binville. Yeah, so I'm giving away Temp Zero. Coffee microwaving gang be like what? What was the giveaway game? Did did? Oh, it, it's it's a game called Temp Zero. It's a little roguelike game, and I think it's a lot of fun. And I'm gonna be playing it during the. Um, wait, am I doing this right? I'm gonna be playing it during the uh, feature f segment. Not not the whole feature segment, just like, you know, some of it. Actually, we're gonna do a mend because I need to recover some of my health. There we go. Honestly, I think I should like continue to try and mend if I can. Okay, never mind. Well, we're just gonna kill this lad. I will try to recommend it later. Please read up on game recommendation you skipped. I didn't skip it. 
Hold on a second. I got a game you might want to try. Take a look at it. It's called Scavenger SV4. Isn't that... That's a space exploration game, right? Pretty sure I've, I've had that on my wish list for a while. Scavenger SV... Yeah, it's been on my wish list for a long time. Um... First person science fiction game, part simulator, part roguelike, it has elements of action, combat, resource management, and a dash of horror. Yeah, I mean, that sounds really cool. I, I, I've been wanting to, to play this game. Actually, I, this isn't really the game I was expecting. So I might, I might check this out sooner than later. I do appreciate the recommendation. I'm sorry I missed your message. Uh, Hand of Gilgamesh is so chauvinistic. Why is there a mend card, but no... Oh my god. Hello? Yes, my child. You need a hand to get out of that barrel? Just like King Argar... Uh, Algaron holds the planet together from its core. I hold our society together from this barrel. Yo, is this actually in the future? I'll take that as a no. Mmm, didn't you? You didn't happen to see an army pass by here just a short while ago. I most certainly did. They were a bit loudmouthed, but at least they had the decency to flip me around. You see, just as fate, I tend to gyrate, and there's only so many hours I can take head down in this thing. Right. Yo, when the robot gyrating. As <laughs> I crush his soul. Crush my, crushing him soul in the palm of my hand. Fi Fury Bash. I love that that uh, icon there. Strength and physical damage to one foe and lowers their fire defense by one grade. It does, however, not generate steam. Ooh, Electrolyze. That does generate steam. I might uh, replace um, some of our cards with that one. Like Book Bash. Let's get rid of Book Bash and put in some Electrolyze. We have 11 out of 8 cards. Is that okay? Keep editing. No, that's not okay. There we go. That's what I want. What does chauvinistic mean? I think the, the word that was sought there was misogynistic? I don't know. Oh my god, I can never get the attack off. I try and click it. This game has exactly the same problem as SteamWorld Heist does, in, in that you can use your mouse to move around, but don't. Because, like, every time you do, pr like, you, problems arise. I try and use the mouse to, like, aim, and it doesn't, then I have to click the mouse to, to try and uh, get the attack off, but it doesn't work because I'm trying to do two things with one control method. Okay. Oh, we should be able to get a nice combo off here. No, never mind. I don't know why I thought that. Okay, let's do this instead. I'm attacking the spider. Problem with attacking them with this uh, is they don't take very much damage. Like, basically no damage. <laughs> um, this is kind of a waste, but it's fine. At least they died. Paralyzed. Nice. Okay, we have some mends, right? We only have the one... We don't have... Oh, yeah, we have one mend. Okay, let's... We could do another combo. Tempting. I really need to start recovering. But this is kind of too tempting not to do. Because uh, if I can get that paralyze off... 
then it will continue to save my life. And also, maybe I can kill them before they're done. So, could we get two men's off? That would be really nice. I don't think we can, but I'm going to do a mend anyway. This guy's about to explode. I don't think there's any point in trying to kill him right now. I don't think it's going to work. Uh, to be honest, I want to get a sub now. All that subway talk got me bad case of sub fever. Yo, is this guy paralyzed? Oh my god. I'm still alive. Um, hmm. Should I try and kill him with a cleave? Let's give it a go. I need to find out what Lacerate does. I don't think I'm a fan. Wow, last right did happen to kill that dude at the last second there. Okay, we're gonna do a mend if we can. Not that one. I need to I need to mend. I censored the gun emoji. Not for me, it's a super soaker. Okay, we're gonna do another mend. Frogo really did turn into the cleric that he was always he was born to play. Which honestly, I mean I am it is what it is. I, I I wish that I had a bit more flexibility there, but I I understand why it needs to happen this way. Doesn't get remove book bash from Copernicus deck. I'm going to fly to Toronto. Wait, what? Remove book bash. Last raid does minimal damage, places a huge stack of bleed. Bleed proceed procs every card the enemy uses. Great on bosses. Poison procs once every turn. Gotcha. I'm gonna steal the microwave to put, make some popcorn. I do like me some popcorn. Uh, let's do this instead. Nice. Uh, excessive fe- Wait, what? She's kind of the opposite. So, chauvinistic in this case is like sexism. I missed a lot of messages. Excessive or prejudice support for one's own cause. There's a reason to keep, there's no reason at all to keep book bash. It's so weak and useless. Well, there is a reason to keep book bash because it, it doesn't generate, it, it generates steam. And I don't think I have anything better to replace it with except for mana barrier. Are you suggesting that mana barrier is better? Oh, I had another searing lash. My bad, my bad. <laughs> That's my bad. I didn't know. I thought I only had like the one Searing Lash because I only crafted one. But I guess when you craft it, you get multiple. <laughs> this game is like Nerd Gun Frog versus Spider Puke Spider. True. You figured it out, I'm a fan. I'm gonna do one chapter of this. How long has the stream been running for? We'll never know because the stream crashed thanks to Microsoft Edge. Hey, can we just, can I give a special shout out to Microsoft Edge being the worst program ever? Can I also give another shout out to Microsoft being completely worthless at their jobs? Cool. Are we there yet? The tracks, they're all over the place. What a mess. Perhaps we should split up. Oh, uh, that was a different character. Each on their own uh, in the middle of nowhere. I vote for strength and numbers. I vote for making camp here while you two go follow those tracks. Strength and peace in mind. I vote for asking the stranger in the cage who saw which way they went. Ah, and I vote for, hey. The worst program is Explore. Edge is Explore. <laughs> Just a different coat of paint. It's the same damn program. Oh, this guy looks cool oh is this a new character oh neville do i get to keep this character microsoft is a wonderful company wow hard stop huh hard hard period at the end of that 
Well, for every bit you love them, I disproportionately hate them more. Evil tabs. <laughs> Trying to sneak up on us, huh? Of course, me and my cage, not to mention this heavy contraption bolted on the tree here. We have been pursuing you for hours. Ha. Huh. Who are you and why are you in there? Will Simp Squad forgive me if I leave you all to get some sub? Go get, go get, go get a sub, I'm a 10. You'll uh, come, be back just in time for the giveaway. How about that? Yo, level 10, end game be getting close. Not gonna lie, I'm lying though. Ah, cutting right to the chase. I really like this character's design. The name is Auric at your humble service. And, well, let's just say an argument ended on a rather bad note. Don't worry about it. On a bad note. Must have been a hell of a tune to leave you locked up like some jailbird. I've seen you somewhere before. Oh, of course, the book. You're in the book. The hero's handbook. Look, I've got it right here. Oh, that was ages ago. Nothing to talk about, really. Nothing to talk about. You're Auric, the legendary sidekick to Gilgamesh, the true ancient hero. The book is full of stories about you two. Like the one where... Now I'm blushing, but yes. The one and the same. Forgive me for not getting up. On that note, you wouldn't mind getting me out of here, would you? Oh, of course. Let me just... Uh... Hold up. Before we do anything rash, let's stop for a second and consider the facts here. We've just met a masked stranger in the middle of nowhere. Uh, in a cage. What if this caged stranger, and I stress the word caged, from whom we've just met, is in cahoots with that army? Did I mention that I saw where the, that army went? You dragged the big cage north through that arch and into a cave. Though I wouldn't recommend a group as inexperienced as yours to go after such an intimidating horde. Either way, they locked up the cave and the guard with the keychain went off the other way past my charming cave, cage and to the south. Coincidentally, the keychain also holds the key to this cage that is keeping yours truly under wraps. If you're going after the army, you'll need those keys one way or the other. Once you have it, I would very much appreciate it if you'd let me out. Count on us, we'll get the keys, and be back in a heartbeat. Please respect what's happening. I know all the meanings. What is happening? Or I might be just corrupted. I don't think that means what you think it means. Uh, we'll sim uh, what, fire? What is happening? I, I'm completely lost. My favorite game runs on Explorer. I feel bad for that game. <laughs> Can you imagine subsisting only on the worst browser of all time? Oh no, I went the wrong way. Damn it. I, I needed to go the other way so that I... Uh... Oh, this guy looks cool. Is this special, unique looking character with a storybook the next companion I get? If this was the soldier guardian guarding the keys, then this is a dead end. There are signs of struggle here, and other smaller footsteps leading in the direction of that cavern. Nothing around- nosing around footprints all day sure is fun. Mom will be pleased to find out her son's practicing to be a poder- Podiatrist. Whoa, what is that word? Podiatrist? Podiatrist. Is that a real word? Someone's gonna give me cred for saying, is that a real word? I'm sure it is a real word. As long as it gets you out of that basement, I'm sure she'll- after friendly banter, our heroes decided to cast aside their wariness to instead follow this new lead. <laughs> I do appreciate the, uh, the narration. Podiatrist equals foot doctor. I thought there was a pediatrist. Like, pedi pedicure. Like, ped. Am I wrong? Pedi pediatromicist? Pet pet optimist. That's when you need glasses for your feet. Pet optimist. Pet optimist. That's when your feet are half full. 
Pedissimist is when your feet are half empty. Ped... Oh, yeah, well, all right. Fill the rest of that joke in, if you could call it that. Ped... Podiotrist. Ped... P pediatrist... Is it... Oh. All right. Moving on. This was the worst. Oh, Gobbo Lad. Gobbo Lad has a mask. Hey there, sneaking looking goblin. <clears throat> Coglin? Whose footsteps suspiciously match the ones we're following? Intruders, I won't let you steal my honestly stolen treasures. Hey, this guy's got a cool character design. Is he our new friend and companion? You wouldn't happen to have found a keychain on that corpse outside, would you? I, uh, he, um, tripped on my sword and I took the keychain fair and square. It's what we would have wanted. It's what he would have wanted. It must be valuable with so many people after it, so oh, I think I'll keep it. Open this gate and give us the keys, you gimp-hooded kleptomaniac. Well, it was a nice dungeon crawling with you guys. See you back in the village. Nice try, homebody. Now, let's refocus from brawn to brains and look around for some other way around the gate. Like this narrow passage here. And this is just like a chapter in the Hero's Handbook where Gilgamesh fought his way through a labyrinth of... Let's refocus while quiet. Nice. All right. Looks like it's locked from the other side. Yeah. Oh, we're fighting oozes now, huh? We fighting oozes? I will never get that attack off. I will try many times, but I'll never get it off. Do 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 do. Was that a reference to dungeon crawling games? Pediatrists or pediatricians? Ah, uh, this is not ideal. I guess we can do we could do this. This isn't bad. Ba 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 do 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 Ah I don't know English is not my first or second language. What's your second language, I'm a tan, I'm curious. Wimple, when are we going to play Fall Guys? Uh, I, I really don't like what Fall Guys, um, what has happened to Fall Guys recently. I know, like, you guys are going to discover this about me occasionally. Um, but though I do have broad tastes, I am also really fickle when it comes to um, marketing structures in general. And um, the, the way that businesses handle their products or their, their games um, can set me off. It sets Bimple off, you know? It sets him off into spicy mode. And I don't like to be spicy mode, but sometimes, sometimes I just am. And um, what happened to Fall Guys recently is like A1 reason. Ex the exact reason why I have an aversion to uh, epic games in general. And uh, I, I don't like that conversation in general because uh, people who don't understand why people don't like epic games tend to not be kind about it. I'm, I try to approach things with a sense of, like, here's my position on it and... If you oppose me, that is totally fine, but it's not really going to change my mind. 
So we may as well try and get along for the most part. Um, the If you didn't know, the recent thing that happened with Fall Guys is basically they signed on with Epic Games and um, the game became free to play on there and then was unlisted on Steam. And like anyone who got the game on Steam, they get to keep the game. So what's the problem? Um, the problem is it sucks. <laughs> like, it just sucks. It's it's not, like, it doesn't matter if the game is free on another platform. It doesn't matter that I, like, if I own the game, I still get to keep it on the platform I bought it on. None of that really matters. Um, I just, like, don't kind of like this whole precedent we're setting where it's like, oh, yeah, like, they're offering me a check, so I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the game from this platform, even though, like, I've been doing very well on this platform, and, you know, it's just, that's like, that's the end, uh, you know, and uh, I'm, no apologies offered, really, because it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is where the money is. And fair enough, I suppose. I'm not gonna, like, give them a hard time for taking the check. Um, but I am going to give Epic Games a hard time for, like, making that happen, setting that all up so that basically now the game is exclusive to another platform. And it is exclusive. That's the fact. You, you can say, well, a lot of people on Steam own it. Probably everyone who wanted to buy it on Steam did buy it on Steam, and that's fine. That's the end of the story there. But that doesn't change the fact that the game is now exclusive on another platform. And it, I highly resent it because one of the reasons I like playing on PC is because of its open nature. Yes, I do play on Steam, but I'm not limited to Steam. I do have the option of getting my content from other sources. But Epic Games is like very much the antithesis to that. And in my opinion, the antithesis to um, the nature of playing or or content creating on the PC is like let's lock it down and let's make it proprietary and let's make it exclusive again as if we are gaming on another console and I just resent that and I, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be silent about it either so unfortunately I know you didn't mean to open a can of worms with that Fall Guys request but that is how I feel about it Steam totally sucks. They're a toxic monopoly, but Epic Games has literally installed spyware and bloatware. Steam sucks, um, but also Steam has um, like got a lot of consumer-friendly practices, and they don't they don't spy on you. <laughs> like they they ask you permission to check your your specs if if you want to give it to them. They they try and do what they can to make their user base happy and they've also done a lot to um have like you know tools that are make gaming in general a bit more uh accessible like i really appreciate what they've done with their controller support um i really appreciate what they've done with a lot of their like community-based tools and but yeah they suck it's impossible to really keep everyone happy i'm not saying that's an excuse to uh you know fumble the ball because sometimes they they do fumble the ball a lot but i still appreciate I, I support them more and um as the consumer because they are consumer friendly um so let me let me read some of the comments before i move on here genuinely believe that it, uh that to Epic Store to become as big as Steam, they would complete and improve the overall situation. Steam is toxic monopoly, though. I mean, define toxic. They are, they do hold a pretty strong mental grip, but I argue that Steam has, um, you know, earned my trust over the years, whereas Epic has like repeatedly, uh, like discarded my trust completely. And here's here's a fact. I want to just like be very clear about this, because um, I know the, the the argument is always, uh, 
Epic Games needs to do exclusives, otherwise how could they compete with Steam? Um, I would argue that I was actually totally on board with Epic Games in the beginning when they were talking about a higher cut for devs when they were talking about giving away games as Microsoft, the, the Microsoft Game Store has been doing, I was on board. I was like, yeah, I'll get Epic Games now. I'll, I'll play Fortnite. Why not? Why not? That sounds good to me. And then they started buying up exclusives and then they started spying on people on like basically other Steam users. And then they started doing a lot of things that rubbed me really badly. Um, and irregardless of the fact that some people are going to be okay with it and other people are not, I think it's fair to say that you're allowed to make a choice as a consumer and you're allowed to choose which practices you support and which you don't. If you don't like Steam, that's totally fine. You don't have to use Steam. Of course, it's a bigger blow if you don't use Steam because it makes up a large portion of the gaming market on PC, but there are other options and, you know, Steam is what it is but you can't argue that they're not pretty consumer friendly and you can't argue to me that they haven't earned the trust overall because you know they haven't tried to screw with me too much <laughs> steam does take a 30 percent cut but so does like every other market that's like i don't understand why steam gets a hard time for that considering that's the reality on every platform and some mark some markets even take 50 percent 30 percent is is actually low in some cases it w could it be better for sure it could it be better for indies absolutely but um you know i don't think that's justification for what epic does and i'm sorry that's my opinion and we are totally okay to, to disagree on this. It, it like, you know, from a dev perspective, I, I understand why you would go with Epic. They definitely are more dev and, uh, you know, I don't know how to put it like, de I know dev is not correct, but like from a position of like selling games, Epic is friendlier. From a position of buying games, uh, Epic is like objectively worse in my opinion. And that's, that's the reality. And some people are going to be okay with that and some people are not. And what I've learned is that, that the people who are okay with Epic, um, there's not really much you can do to convince them. And there's also no way to convince me that, of, of, that I should trust a company that is doing stuff that I don't trust. <laughs> like, that's, it, just, it just is what it is, right? There is no other store for most Steam games, though. I might have a grudge against Steam since Valve is such a terrible company. But are they a terrible company because they've abandoned games? Like, I understand that people are upset about Tim, Tim, uh, not Tim Hortons, Team Fortress. And I understand why they're, people are not okay with that. But like, also, you know, Valve, over the course of the last two decades has been working on their platform. And I know people don't really appreciate that, but I do. <laughs> like, genuinely, I, I, I think that the work that they've done uh, to make Steam uh, a good place for consumers is appreciated. Like, I, I, I think that that is more valuable than making Half-Life 3. I'm sorry, like, I know everyone wants Half-Life 3, but I don't think Half-Life 3 is as important as making a platform that is, you know, that makes buying PC games or playing PC games, like, easy, accessible, uh, user-friendly, adds controller support. Uh, we were talking about Microsoft earlier. Microsoft basically destroyed controller support. Microsoft is the reason you can't use your PS4 controller on, on some games because basically they created several different um, inputs that, that made it so you couldn't pl use your controller for, for different games. And then, you know, now we, if you play your game on Steam, at least you can use your your various different controllers to, to play your game. And like Valve didn't have to do that because there's not really much money in it. There's not a huge 
amount of people using a PS4 controller or a PS5 controller, but the support is there nonetheless, and like I really appreciate that. A lot of the stuff that Valve do does, or the lot a lot of the stuff that Steam does, isn't like apparent, but it's there, and it, it's it doesn't you don't realize it's gone until you stop using it, and you realize like that you kind of depend on those things. Like, I know that Steam Reviews gets a really hard break. People hate Steam Reviews, and I understand why, but I, I appreciate that they're there. If they weren't there, then, like, you could be buying a game that, like, manipulates you or doesn't run properly or, um, you know. I know that uh, Steam or Valve are not uh, to thank for this. I understand that they were basically made to bend the knee over this um, specific talking point, but uh, I appreciate that Steam refunds are a thing. I don't think there's many ways to make that work where it would, like, where everyone would be happy, but I appreciate that Steam refunds are a thing, and I've taken advantage of that on several occasions. Um, so... The, it's just one of those things people are going to disagree and they don't they don't appreciate necessarily everything that Valve does and that's totally fine. If Epic works for you then that's, you know, do do what makes you happy. Um, and if you support devs, if you want them to get a bigger check, then then Epic is definitely where it's at. Uh, I'm not saying I don't want them to get a bigger check. I just I'm just saying I've been on Steam for a long time and I don't really feel like switching and I definitely don't feel like switching for a company that is doing what Epic is doing specifically. So anyway, that's my four cents, up maybe close to a dollar now. Uh, I'll tr I, I can move on. I understand that this is not a good conversation because there are no winners in this specific topic. But I, I try, I'm trying my best to explain myself in a non-patronizing and non-condescending way. Um, so as to make my position clear without making anyone else feel like uh, I'm saying they're wrong or that I am right. Just that that's where I am at. I would encourage um, chat if you are if you are all, all disputing each other or disagreeing in a way, um, and I know you probably are, but you know uh, irony and emotion is not easily read in text. To try and keep things civil about this specific topic, because I know it can get quite heated, and I know that you are, but I want to say so anyway because uh, you know that's that is my obligation, and that is also my constant desire to keep things pretty toxic free. Taking the hot take to another level, I'm having them in my day. Oh, also Linux support? Uh, Valve doesn't get enough love for that. That's my last note about that, but the, the what they're doing for Linux right now is honestly the the Lord's work. I'm I'm sorry. Like, for real. They, they need a huge pat on the back for what they're doing with Linux. How else would you break this monopoly other than... I, I, well, like I said, Neville, I was willing to support Epic Games in the beginning when they were talking a bigger cut for devs and also just like handing out some free games per month. I was on board. I was I actually had Epic Games on my system. The way you compete is by competing, not by taking. It's, it's by offering a better service, not by taking from another service. And by buying up exclusivity, you are taking. I understand that the argument is that Steam also has exclusivity on their platform, but they didn't take that. They earned that. They are, And I know that's such a bullshit statement. I understand that. That that sounds like total BS, like they earned it. They earned it by earning people's trust and by offering a, like a, a platform and a service for people to play on and made it accessible for people. They didn't buy it. That's the difference. They didn't make a uh, bazillion dollars from half night or Half-Life Fortnite and then, you know, buy up whatever games looked juicy at the moment and then uh, to, in order to encourage people over to the other platform. If you're, if you're asking, if you want me to genuinely tell you how I think that Epic could compete in a more friendly way, 
it, it would be offering a better service. And by offering devs a better cut, that was a huge step. I was 100% on board for that. No cap, promise. I know that uh, people can get very biased in this conversation, like, oh, you're just saying this because you're a Steam fanboy or you're a Valve fanboy. I hope I don't come across as a Valve fanboy. If Valve started make doing some like really horrible stuff like tomorrow, like offering, uh, you know, weird, compulsed based like microtransactions, I know they did that, but you know, never mind. <laughs> if they started, if they started messing with my trust, then then I would certainly consider switching or at least using them less. So. But maybe I am a Valve fanboy. I mean, you're talking to someone who bought a deck. Like, that's if that doesn't stream fanboyism, then I don't, you know, like, maybe there are just no winners in this conversation because I, I don't, it's a hard one battle. Uh, are just kidding about companies TBH. I don't think anyone's being very serious at the moment. I am semi being serious, but that's just because I've had fairly caustic uh, conversations about this. So I'm trying my best to offer my position on this in a serious way without it sounding condescending because I don't want to alienate anyone <clears throat> with my stance on this. And I also like, I do want there to be some platform for that topic without it being caustic. It's just difficult because at the end of the day, unfortunately, brand loyalty is a thing, and I hate that. But and, and I'm talking about but brand loyalty for Valve as well. But um, I think I've said about as much as I should or could say about this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna drop it. I already said I was gonna drop it, but I didn't. So I did not understand the joke. I'm just hoping Big sees my joke about the Canadian loony, but I think he's gone down the spice hole. The spice hole is what happens after you eat Taco Bell. <laughs> Whew. Uh, Alright, let me try and read some of the messages I missed. Steam is nice, lots of promos, lots of games you can refund. I admit I might have a grudge against Steam. Uh, True. Hippo takes a 30% cut. That is true. Mainly online multiplayer games. Oh, also um, Steam, like I forget what it's called. Local play was pretty cool. I appreciated that. They, they made local multiplayer games multiplayer. Like that's really cool. But Epic and Fortnite killed off Unreal Tournament. That's true. That's a very small reason to be upset with Epic, but genuinely that did upset me. <laughs> I was a huge Unreal Tournament fan, and the fact that they killed it in favor of the much better selling, much higher money making game genuinely did upset me, but I understand it. But 3D gaming, it is not VR after all, and Alex was super generic. Oh, Kevbo coming in with a spicy take. I can't agree with you at all. Alex was amazing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was even- I even wanted to do an Alex playthrough. I really liked Alex. I endorse communism and Microsoft. Such great things. Uh, I also endorse communism, but, you know, unironically. Actually, more specifically socialism, but never mind. It's the same thing, right? Haha. <laughs> uh, almost up to a loony, you mean? Yes. Actually, almost up to a toony. Poop joke, as a dev and not a gamer, we're on very opposite sides of the fence on this one. Made it a nice discussion. Well, that's the thing, Neville. I, I, I didn't know you were a dev. I talked about a lot about this on my on my Twitter the other day. There are some co uh, topics, and specific, more recently the one about demos, that are the reason they're so contentious and divisive is because people are on the side of like selling and making money. That's not an insult. On the the consumer side I am on the consumer side and so therefore I'm gonna be okay with Steam games that's just kind of a fact I'm willing to accept that about myself um, but 
you know, when it comes to like, say, for instance, selling demos, if you're presented with the objective or analytic uh, proof that having a demo on your game is uh, very, is actually harmful for your game, a lot of people are going to get upset because they're like, well, yeah, but that makes the game more accessible. I want a demo. So yeah, you want a demo because you're on the side of consumer, but with when presented with the facts uh, that like it might harm your sales, then you know a lot of people are going to take interest and maybe off not offer a demo as often, and that's where division happens because like you know it's really just the consumer versus the seller, it's the market versus the the patrons. And there's no real winning that. Sometimes there are things that are going to hurt the consumer, and some things there are things. Sometimes there are things that, that are going to hurt the market. And the market is also made up of people and individuals that are spending a lot of time making stuff. And you know, I am on the side of the dev, but I also ultimately am a consumer. So, I it, the whole thing sucks, and I want it to go away. But as long as we're here, we may as well address those facts. You know. King Algaron, the king, the hero's handbook has a chart over every single chain that, of course it has. You think that Coglin Crook stole this too? That or he's awful at decorating. Also, I've been playing this game for almost two hours, an hour and a half, I guess. So we should end. I thought this chapter was going to end fairly soon, but oh my God. Okay, we don't want to go there. Maybe I should end it now. I'll, I'll end it now and I'll move on to the next game. It's a good place to end it, actually. I, th I was going to try and beat a chapter, but it didn't happen. I got really kind of wrapped up in that conversation and I've completely, like, I blacked out on the last, like, hour of this game. Game de demo is just a legal way of piracy in some people POV, and that said. Uh, I mean, hot take, piracy is just a illegal way of playing a demo. I do try occasionally, but I earn the real money from other software. I didn't like Alex, but I find 3D gaming is not VR. Why isn't it VR? I understand that some things like, uh, you know, some terminology is used incorrectly, but it, what is it if not virtual reality? I, I, gen, not dunking on you. I would like, I would like an explanation. Yo, you got your sub just in time. We we're just moving on to the next seg segment. Uh, let me read some of these. I was a fan of Sony back then, PS2 era, but to be honest, any company will mess up at some point. True. Even Valve. I honestly fear the day when, um, some of the higher ups in Valve, um, uh, to, to be blunt, die because they're getting on. And uh, and then we uh, we get some start. It, here's here's my line, and people are gonna question me on this one, maybe. But um, it's just my line, and uh, hear me out. The day that Valve goes public, meaning that you can buy shares of their company, is probably the day I will stop buying from them. I'm I'm not joking. That's my line. 